Praise the Lord, everyone. Happy Resurrection Day. Okay, let's, if, if anyone in the back, or if any, come on, let's move seats in the front. If you want to, guys, uh, move forward. You can sit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay. I'd like to invite uh, Joseph Rowe to start us with a prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for giving us one more opportunity, one more day on this resurrection day, the Easter day, to reflect on the sacrifice that you made, to reflect the ultimate sacrifice that you made, to reflect the sonship you gave us, the world where that we had no hope, you gave us the new covenant based on grace, faith, than action. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the immense, immense mercies that you gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the eternal gift that you gave us, Lord. The eternal gift that you gave to the undeserving person like me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving this day of happiness. Thank you, Lord, we stand in awe and wonder on the immense gift that you showered upon us, Lord. Help us to make use of this opportunity and, and perfect the Christ in our heart as Paul wished, that we should not throw away this immense grace that you showered upon us, Lord. Let us take let us take strenuous action to perfect ourselves into your will, the will of God that you so perfectly added to, even to the point of death that God gave us the, the gift of resurrection, Lord. Thaupne, make us worthy sons and daughters that we may share the same fate, that we be rejoined in the second coming, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making us smile today, but let's not forget the days that we cried. Once again, Lord, we remember, Lord, we remember you, Father. We remember the sacrifice that you made for the Son. And thank you for reviving the hope, the eternal hope for the new heaven and the new earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's all turn to our Bible, and uh, I'd like to invite... Uh, Paul and sister to help us read our Bible verse. Bible reading is from Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 7. So today's Bible reading is from the Gospel of Mark chapter 16. Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and, Sha and Salome bought spices that they, might, that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? And when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, and he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a risen king. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a risen king. Amen. The King of Kings, Hallelujah. Amen. When He said He's gonna, you know, uh, saying that is to the disciples before, you know, they didn't realize this is going to happen. They were, but He did say that, and just as He said it, He did it, Amen. Hallelujah, 
hallelujah not only that it's a funny thing that uh, you know he rose but he also as soon as he rose it, it, it says he outran them before to galilee you know i mean he's already there waiting for them you know what i mean it's so he is so great and see he is so wonderful you know what i mean it's the same god today we we serve the same god today he is alive he is alive he is alive amen hallelujah 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 let's all open up our mouths and thank him and praise him for he has done what what he has told before and he has fulfilled his fulfilled all the pro, uh, all the promises that's been written all the pro, uh, prophecies that been written over the te- old testament and he fulfilled it through all the cross and resurrection he has done that hallelujah 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 just open up a mouth and praise just praise him. him you know who he is hallelujah you know yes. who he is amen praise. yes we we know who he is hallelujah 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 he's the king of glory he's the king of glory who is seated in majesty seated on the throne he's reigning over all hallelujah 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 we praise you master lord we praise you father god lord we praise you lord jesus Oh Lord we praise you Father God just as the sun says Father God therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices amen hallelujah hallelujah yes Father God our hearts are glad Father God for you Lord Jesus no papa Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Jesus Lord we thank you Father God Lord we praise you Lord we praise you Lord we praise you hallelujah Hallelujah. Let's all sing this song together. Geetham Geetham. Amen. Hallelujah. Jai Jai Geetham. It's a big joyous anthem. Hallelujah. We sing unto him. Hallelujah. The Geetham Geetham Jai Jai Geetham. Jai Jai Ki Pare
lift up your name. Glorious Lord, we lift up your name. The King of glory. Yes, Father God, we lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glorious one, glorious one. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. I raise a
is alive. Amen. No matter what the storm might be, no matter what the downside of the darkness might be, but there's nothing can stand before him. There's nothing can stand before him. There's nothing. The demons will tremble at the sound of his voice. At the say of his name. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Master. Glorious Lord. Glorious Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Master. We worship you, Master. Yes, Lord.
Hallelujah. 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 We worship you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lord, apa ungu presen itu kahana nanti selatirin raja. Lord, we thank you for your presence here today. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the Spirit that refreshes us, Father God. That refreshes our soul, Father God. Just as we heard this morning, Father God, the Spirit that Lord Jesus not only refreshes us, but makes the dead things come alive. Yes, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, yes, Father God. Again and again. Apa, yes, Father God. You are revealing unto us, Father God. Yes, Father God. Again and again, Father God. You are revealing your glory unto us, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we bless your name. Jesus. Lord, we humbly surrender each and every one of us here into your hands, O oh Lord. Father God, you lead us and guide us, Father God. Apa, yes, Father God. In every single situation that we go through, Apa, keep reminding us that the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is in alive in us, Father God. In whatever the situation might be, let us speak that truth in our lives. Let us speak that truth in our lives, Sabah. Yes, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to have an offertory song. It's going to wonderfully going to run render us by Joshua, bro, and Pradeep, really, bro.
It's all about the prayer, the song, and um, I will not be shaken. Is that what the meaning of the song is? And yeah, thank you. God bless. Amen. Praise be to God. Why? <laughs> I think it's echoing still. Okay, he's calling you. Okay. okay. Amen. Praise be to God. And uh, wish you all once again a happy Resurrection Day. I believe you had a very good day so far. And uh, it's a time now open for anyone who would like to testify God's goodness in your life. If there is anything that you would like to testify. not I am
Praise God. Um, last week, you all know that I fainted on the stage. <laughs> so I went to the hospital, got all the tests done, and everything came back normal. So praise God for that. Amen. I was supposed to say last week, but I was too jet-lagged to give a testimony. Uh, so I praise and thank God that uh, God gave us the strength for me and my sister and little Roshni to travel to India. This is the first time we did a girl's trip. <laughs> we didn't know how it was going to be, but God was there with us all through the two weeks. And a special thanks to my husband, <laughs> who's looked after the kids, and to brother-in-law, who has looked after his kids. Uh, so really, uh, without their support, this would not have been possible. But thank you for all your prayers for my mother. She is doing okay. Thank you. Amen. Praise be to God. Thank you. Anybody else would like to testify God's goodness? Okay. Yeah, if not, yeah, we have some nice new faces today attending this evening. So it would be really nice if you can introduce yourself. Uh, we'll just pass on the mic and Ryan or somebody. Yeah, just take them. Or you can come, friend, otherwise you can come and introduce. It's up to you. Just your name and where you come from, that should do. Um, my name is Roberts and I come from originally from Latvia, but I live in Wigan. Okay. So this is my first time here, that's why I'm, uh, I'm a bit shy, but um, no. I'm just getting to know things, so. Great. Nice to have you. Amazing. Let's give him a big hand. Hello, uh, my name is Saranya Gunashikaran um, and I'm from Chennai, India. And I'm friends of Grace Lynn and Catherine. Oh, great. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello, my name is Zahana. I'm from Maldives. And yeah, I'm friends with them as well, yeah. Great. Nice to have you, all three of you. Welcome once again. And it's lovely to have uh, Sister Kumu in our midst. And um, welcome, Sister, once again. And. Um, Okay, and also we have our brother Shalin and Abigail, Esther. welcome once again and um, thank you all. So let's close our eyes in prayer and um, let's thank God for all his goodness. Even this week many people must have gone through many things, many things must have bothered you or affected you. There will be highs and lows in your life but God has been so gracious to us. And also, especially as Shoba said, like things could have gone completely wrong, but God's love and his affection and uh, has saved her, protected her. Thank you all, everyone who were helping her out that day. And uh, let's close our eyes and prayer. Amen. Praise you, Lord. We praise you, Father, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. Thank you for bringing us together. Father, Lord, we praise you for all your wonderful ways and your wonderful guidance in our life. Father, your love never fails and it will never give up. And Father, Lord, even we might have, Father, Lord, forgotten you in various situations. But Father, you have been so faithful. You have been so good to us. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing Sister Father, Lord, Sister and Prabha Sister safe, Father, Lord. And also thank you for your wonderful presence and protection with uh, Sister's mom, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We pray, Father, Lord. Uh, for uh, yeah, all the students, Father Lord, who have come this evening as well. We pray, uh, we thank you, Lord, for bringing them, Father. We don't know where they come from. We don't know what they're going through, but we believe, Father Lord, that your presence will guide them and protect them and lead them, Father. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for uh, Sister Kumu as well, Lord, Father, for giving her good health. We pray especially for Malcolm, Father Lord. Let your strength be with him, Father Jesus, God. Your strength will never fail, Father Jesus, and will protect him from each and every situation that he is going through, Father. We praise you. We glorify your name, Father Lord. We believe, Father, you are binding them together with your love and you are guiding them and strengthening them each and every day with your presence, Lord. We praise you. We thank you, Lord. We pray for Brother Sheldon and also for Abigail, sister, and also for the children's Father Lord. We thank you for bringing them safe and we believe, Father Lord, your presence will lead them, guide them, and strengthen them. We praise you, Lord. We pray for the rest of the world as well, Lord. Guide us through, lead us through. 
we ask all this in the mighty matchless name of lord and savior jesus christ amen amen praise the lord and also for the announcements we have uh, uh, we we will be having our regular prayers in the morning and uh, since it's a holiday time i don't know like if there is any changes we will be posting it in the group and also we will be having our uh, thursday thursday evening bible study um not not this week so we might not be having thursday evening uh, bible study but uh, we will be having our saturday evening lead service and also on sunday morning and afternoon service in uh, halifax and wakefield respectively so um, that's our announcements if any other announcements we will be posting it in the group thank you i'll pass it on to brother joel is going to deliver the word of god let's welcome him amen Praise the Lord. How many of you happy this evening? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Can I hear a loud hallelujah please? Hallelujah. hallelujah. We have to celebrate today. Isn't it? We have to celebrate. It's not Friday. It's Sunday. Hallelujah. It's not Friday, it's Sunday. Amen. On Friday imagine how it would be the situation. On Friday Jesus on the cross Satan will be cheering up celebrating cheerful happy enjoying this side pharisees they also celebrating their cheer isn't it that's how it would be isn't it sorry sunday school okay please children want to go for sunday school you can thank you so where i am yeah i was saying about a friday situation uh the satan would have said finally oh, after three and a half years i got him on the cru- uh, cross somehow this side pharisees would be enjoying saying i am the one said i tore my dress i said he is blaspheming then other people would have cheered him saying yeah man because of you got him he is now over full stop that's it other side pharisees and sadducees asking question after question they are enjoying they doesn't know sunday is coming they doesn't know sunday is coming hallelujah is it great isn't it sunday morning god changed everything he started a new era he started a new beginning he is great he rose up like you know i was imagining how it would be like inside the cave sunday morning he rose when he would have turned the side satan would have been screaming oh my god i made a mistake isn't it we serve a great god hallelujah let's move on to the word so before i start like you know then they read the bible reading they covered everything just read the same passage let's move on let's see what is god is saying to us this evening mark chapter 16 verse 1 to 4 could someone help me in reading please just after sunrise they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb but when they looked up they saw that the stone which was very large had been rolled away thank you hallelujah i was waiting for the lord and asking lord 40 days children are very fasting and now the easter service what shall i want to say to the children God loves you all. He looks at his children, isn't it? He said, go and tell to my children. The stone was rolled away. And he said, 
tell to my children your stone will be roll away today hallelujah can we all give a grand of praise to the lord hallelujah the stone was rolled away the verse 4 i just want to concentrate on verse 4 but when they looked up they saw the stone which was very large had been rolled away amen hallelujah this is what you going to back, go back take this word for the resurrection day god is giving you a word that your stone will roll away hallelujah when i was reading this passage from the beginning verse 1 onwards i was so noticed like one lady that name is her name is mary magdalene i could since i could read it in all four gospel that took me a, like you know when i read about the resurrection passage one after the other books i could see this women's lady is mentioned in all the places why it's not disciples name i was wondering why it has been mentioned then i started to dig into it i found 12 times it has been mentioned in the new testament something really we want to concentrate on said i thought let me dig into it find out who she is she is a jewish woman and she is from the uh, say, a town called magdala this is somewhere between like you know western shore of the sea of galilee and uh, she is the normal woman that she started her life and then uh, somehow she met jesus christ and uh, the bible there are lots of reference it says she had seven evil spirit and jesus chased them out and she became the disciple when she became the very disciple she was so strong and so faithful to jesus christ and wherever jesus go jesus normally goes town after town and preach isn't it that's how she when jesus was going all the disciple the 12 disciple they also go along with them and there are few women disciples one among is mary magdalene so she was she was so 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 diligent for jesus christ wherever jesus christ go she goes and she support jesus and in all the ways even in money and in all their hair, whatever she could do what she was doing it and if you listen carefully and the time of crucifixion what happened is all the disciples they ran away you know the situation isn't it because they thought after jesus probably it may be in my name or someone name in the 12 disciples so they ran away and this woman there are lots of places that have been mentioned this woman was following jesus christ carefully and until on the cross also after they took jesus christ in the tomb she was following she could see where they placed jesus christ along with her there are few more a few more uh, uh, women you can see that a name called mary she was a mother of joseph and salom there are uh, three or four people they guess and they were following jesus christ meticulously like you know disciple disciples and they come to know where they placed jesus christ in the tomb you know even later you can see that jesus first met this mary magdalene out of all disciples she, jesus met this mary magdalene first person after resurrection meeting mary magdalene what a privilege isn't it i think because she was meticulously following jesus christ probably she is very fond of me she is loving she was so loving so that's the reason i think like as probably jesus might have uh, met magdalene mary magdalene first and then reminding i think so and she is the one first gave the easter message that is resurrection message she ran and went and gave to the message to the all the disciples says wake up wake up there is no jesus christ can you come and see finally they come to know that it's a resurrection until that she was not realized that so this is what the situation now mary magdalene was watching everything and she was planning to go to the tomb on sunday morning don't think that she got the news that jesus got resurrected to meet jesus no it's not like that she took some spices and ointments and from fragrance for what reason you know to anoint jesus christ because she was thinking jesus is dead still that is the situation like 
she why is sunday morning you may be surprised why sunday morning sunday morning because friday evening sabbath starts that is when the sun overs and then sun starts so friday evening it starts and saturday evening it ends saturday evening sabbath ends so they can do their work but the thing is next one is it will become dark night so she can't do it she waited until it gets morning early morning she took all these things and got some of her friends and went to meet the tomb and while on the way you can read verse 3 on the way she was th- saying that who will roll away the stone for me just imagine they roll the stone that way see in jewish culture they have this kind of habit when someone died they r- they wrap them with the linen and they placed they put some ointments and spices and fragrance and all these things and put it in the cave and they roll the stone what they do it is often they go and visit they put some spices on ointments and fragrance and not to get smell or do not to get decayed and they do it for a year and then after a year they would what they will do it is they take the bones skeleton and put it in another box and save it that is the permanent place for them to stay that box is called ossuary now for that reason they are coming to put the spices not for the resurrection purpose when they come in they were thinking who will roll away the stone that is the main cause or thinking in their mind because the the stone is too huge very big is there anyone having such kind of thought i have a big stone in my life who will roll away is there any word is there anything that can roll away my stone i want to take you to the another such such kind of situation where you know about lazarus isn't it there also there was a big stone you can see it in lazarus life i just want to take you from john chapter 11 from 1 onwards i don't want to read more stuff it i'll tell you the quick short snap of it now lazarus was there he is in bethany and he has sisters mary and uh, martha and um, now we, they know that now the lazarus is very sick and they sent a news to jesus because jesus and uh, lazarus and other people are they are so friends they are like a disciples so jesus stayed there in the same place and she uh, jesus couldn't come at the on time and lazarus died now and the lazarus was put into the cave same way covered tied bound with linen kept safely and locked covered with a stone just uh, focus on verse 25 please john chapter 11 verse 25 jesus said to her now this is the conversation is going now jesus is coming back to the town and mary and martha they meeting jesus christ and they were asking lord if you are here my son, my my brother would have went or saved isn't it saved his life and jesus is giving the reply verse 25 jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even though they die so jesus is telling i am the resurrection i am the life if anyone believes in me they will live there are two context of it immediately and she replies and says that yes at the last days he will really he will live because he will resurrect and he will live that's fine but god jesus doesn't say that he he meant as something different that he is going to do something great now continuously it's moves on verse 38 to 40 just focus on verse 38 to 40 Jesus once more deeply moved came to the tomb it was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance take away the stone he said Jesus said take away the stone but lord said Martha the sister of dead men by this time there is a bad order for he has been there four days then Jesus says did i not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of god jesus already said i am going to resurrect i he said i am the resurrection and life just believe in me i will do everything but she didn't believe because of that she was saying if we open the stone if we roll away the stone it will stink lord you think about it jesus clearly said 
I am the resurrection, I am the life, then why she is worried? But imagine when Jesus says, I am, that means he revealing himself in one particular way. Totally, he has said in a few times, seven times I guess, he said that I am, I am the bread of life, I am the door, I am the way, truth, life. So these kind of things he said. In that particular thing, he insert this one, he says, I am the resurrection. I am the life. I will do it, he said. When he said, I am, that is so powerful it is. They should have noticed it. When he said, I am, oh, something great he is saying. Because imagine that when, when, when Jesus was arresting, when they were trying to find Jesus, they were saying, who is Jesus, who is Jesus? Jesus said, I am. They fell, isn't it? They fell back. Such a powerful word, I am. When Jesus says, I am the resurrection and I am the life, they should have get an attention on it. Should have, isn't it? But they didn't. They, all, they thought something different. Today, Jesus is saying the same word to you. I am the resurrection. I am the life. Don't worry, whatever may be the big stone. Whichever stone you are thinking of, how big, how large, what size, where it is, don't worry. Jesus gives a word. I am the resurrection and I am the life. I will do it. I will roll it. It's easy for me because he is resurrection and he is life. I want to take you towards this. When we say about life, there are two parts. When it says, I am the resurrection, I am the life. We'll check, look into these two things and we'll finish it off. Okay. So first I want to take you to the I am the life. When he says, I am the life, what that means is, he says, I have life. However you want to take it, take it. And if you dig into the Bible, you can find his words are life. Have you, have you across, came across this verse, John chapter 6, verse 63? The spirit gives life, the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. God's word is life. It's full of spirit and life. If you receive the word of God, then there is life. The first point I want to mention to you is believe in the word of God. Just believe in the word of God. If you're looking that stone have to roll away, God says, I am the resurrection, I am the life. But one thing you should notice is, do I believe in the word of God? Because when you look at Martha, God says clearly, I'm the resurrection, I'm the life. Don't worry about that. She didn't care about it. All he's expecting is, he was asking the question and again and again, do you believe? Do you believe? The same thing he's asking to us, I am the word, I am the life. Do you believe my word? The first thing I just want to mention to you is, the word of God is life. Even you remember when Jesus was speaking to that, uh, I know that the three temptation that Jesus Christ, one of the things he says, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, can live by the word of God. Did he say it like that? Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to understand this life is very important. Sometimes if you look, even, even, even we, what Martha thought is, she was thinking about after death, there is a life. There is a resurrection. After everything, there is a resurrection. She was thinking about it. Yes, Christianity, we believe on these three things. I agree. We, we don't deny these three things. One is birth of Jesus Christ, and then death of Jesus Christ, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is what Christianity is. If someone denies or disagree on that, then it's no more Christianity or no nothing. Even if anything fails, then there is no Christian. Imagine if there is no resurrection, I no need to stand here, you no need to sit here, because every tomb must be closed, and Jesus' tomb also closed. What's there? Nothing. But one thing differs from all other people is his tomb is open. He is alive. You can, you can find it in any kind of way, historical way. Find out, dig into it, find out whether he died and he rose or not. By the way, he has said, A.D. and B.C., after death of Jesus Christ, before Christ, 
historically it's proven that jesus christ rose up and scientific way the people are saying boasting themselves it has to everything has to come from something 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 but imagine look at all creation it has to come from it should have come from one thing isn't it who is it jesus god god himself even that you can prove jesus christ has lived in this world and he died and he rose biblically it's proven again same thing he rose everything whichever you find there is a proof that he lived and he died else we no need to stand here and speak such a long thing even when they go to the the, the tomb there was laid the, the 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 linen cloth was unwrapped and it placed there people were saying they have stolen jesus body if they are stealing jesus body why they want to unwrap it if will they get a time to unwrap all those things imagine i don't know how they come up with the, all these stories i don't know when they carry jesus guy they have to carry it run away isn't it but the, jesus kept a proof for it he wants to say i rose and he kept everything open imagine you do you think that jesus wrapped unwrapped everything and he would have pushed the stone hard enough no he is resurrection when you woke up automatically they would have rolled away or else the angels would have came and rolled pushed everything move 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 get ready fight jesus is coming up oh good that's how it would have been no way you cannot deny jesus christ death or no way you cannot deny jesus christ resurrection that's where the christianity falls on we cannot deny that even when he was living he made many miracles because he is the resurrection isn't it he never went to any kind of funeral service if he went for same funeral service that will be the resurrection service while he was going on the way he met some people like you know jairus daughter a son of the woman and nine or lazarus whomever he met if they are died it's now no more the funeral service it would have been a resurrection service that's jesus christ even today i just want to say to you if you are carrying any kind of cross i would say there is a resurrection day there is a resurrection day no don't think like no it's every day is friday there is sunday morning hallelujah jesus christ rose up i just want to say to you god who said i am the resurrection i am the life will roll away your stone when you go back don't forget forget everything about that but i just want to take this one with you god who said i am the resurrection i am the life he will roll away your stone today amen hallelujah it's not the word it's based on your belief if you believe on the word of god if you trust him if you totally confess that he is the lord he is there the second thing i just want to focus is when he said i am the resurrection when he said i am the resurrection that mean resurrection is an event the, the resurrection is an act that it happens but before that there is a power released from him that is called the resurrection power one first one i told you believe on the word of god second thing i just want to highlight is believe on the resurrection power it is the great power that does everything imagine for a people who are drowning on the water he need a rescuer isn't it he cannot go and teach them have you seen anywhere like you know in the beach if the if they are you know playing and uh, swimming or uh, doing something there will be a rescuer standing you know having the whistle and walking here and then say like you know come this side don't go that side isn't it if something happens they go they get the surfboard and quickly go to rescue them isn't it that's jesus he has the power to do all those things when you call out his name he is there don't say that it's blocked it's so big because he is the resurrection he can do it hallelujah i just want to take you to the word just mentions about this lazarus was the same example we are looking in john chapter 11 verse 43 and 44 when he said, when he had said this jesus called in a loud voice lazarus come out the dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth are, are um, around his face Jesus said to them take off the grave clothes and let him go Jesus giving a loud voice and he says Lazarus come out imagine what would have happened he has a resurrection power the voice 
it goes travels but it's a dead body have you been touched the dead body it's like a, just like a wood it will be like this same way you can carry however it may be it will be the same it's a non living being and jesus speaks a word and it, the word travels but it's a non living being still it enters into it even though it's dead still it enters into it even though it's decayed it enters into it even though it's spoiled and stinking it enters into it and it started to work it started to shiver it started to the body get started to warm hallelujah i would say that is jesus he has a resurrection power he can change things don't worry if you say that it's dead still he can do it if you say it's spoiled still he can do it if you say that it's destroyed still he can do it he is the creator of everything if he calls out it will come and stand there other people you need to look at their word since jesus said you can trust it because you need to consider the integrity of the word when i say integrity of the word who says that word how his life is have he ever done like that yes he has rose many people but he also rose so you can trust him even though it's dead he can rise up that is the resurrection power that is called he says i am the resurrection i am the life no one can claim that no one can confess that if other people say make a question mark and see their life is their life is like that have they ever done anything like that is there anything that they can prove it no they cannot have you seen in india when there will be a huge truck carrying a big law of iron cast the small person who comes with the traffic police dress he says stop the guy who having such a great lord if he hit it he can be smashed like anything but he will obey he will roll it he will put it down he will come aside because he has the power to stop it same way jesus has the power if he says it will happen hallelujah don't worry about that the same thing i just want to highlight a few verses and then i'll want to complete this one roman chapter 8 verse 11 roman chapter 8 verse 11 this morning pastor was speaking about this and if the spirit of him who raised jesus from the dead is living in you he who raised christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body because of the spirit who lives in you he says that the spirit of god who rose jesus christ is living in you that mean he is still living with us when we confess oh lord i agree i confess you are the true living god the immediately the same spirit of god who comes into us after that the spirit of god he has the power he has everything to it what he has done you know he conquered the death he conquered the hell he conquered the grave you know not to do anything to do the resurrection power he has already done it everything on the cross i just have a good example to you to understand this to illustrate this there was a boxing match is happening and this person is taking a training for four months hard winter training and there were more matches getting ready and he he prepare himself in all the ways eating food you know dieting himself and running hard running you know taking weights and doing everything just preparing himself for the boxing match the me the league match started he started to go one by one and he started to win each by each finally he come to the final match that is is important heavyweight match he has to appear for it still he doesn't leave the training he completes the training everything every day morning he didn't have a proper sleep he was doing the training very hard from morning to evening and he asked his wife would you like to come for a match she said no i can't you by the way they hit you i can't i can't i can't digest that i can't come i look it from the television she said and uh, went to went for the match 
and as she said four punches and he got in a bruised and and he couldn't manage finally after the you know that how hard training it is it worked out and he finally won the match hallelujah he got the medal he got the check everything came back home open the door wife was waiting for him clapping hugging and kissing and looking at the medal oh wonderful and she looked at the she saw the check it was a huge amount she took it and she put it in the bag why she put it in the bag it's both are same isn't it she no need to earn that he already earned it same way jesus earned it on the cross jesus earned it everything this resurrection power you no need to do anything this life you no need to do anything he sacrificed himself on the cross he died he did everything he accomplished it all he is saying is you can be a partaker of it hallelujah hallelujah just believe on it before you go i just want to say reiterate jesus says to you he will roll out the stone god who said that i am the resurrection i am the life he will do it hallelujah happily go back when you go back to home in this power whatever you can do it you can do it whatever things you can speak off you can speak off against it evil things just speak against it even the dead things speak against it pain speak against it oh sorrow pain whatever may be the bodily ailments just speak against it because already jesus has taken it he says today he will roll out your stone hallelujah we give you praise lord hallelujah just keep praising god hallelujah oh hallelujah 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 how many years you have the stone how many times you have tried your best how big it is how tall it is don't worry there is a resurrection power he already gained it you no need to do anything with that just believe on the word of god believe on the resurrection power believe on the word of god believe on the resurrection power if satan comes and say no i have the great god who said who promised he has the resurrection power he can do mighty things even it's dead he can speak to that even it's dead. he can he can speak to it it will resurrect he can even it is to gone to the core of it he can speak to it because he has the power because he himself said i am the resurrection i am the life same god who said the word he will roll out your stone today can we all stand to our big feet keep praising the lord if god spoken to you keep praising keep praising give a hand of praise to the lord say to him lord i believe your word lord i believe your resurrection power say to him lord i believe your word oh lord i believe your resurrection power hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah our god is a great god our god is a great god he has oh the he broke all the chains oh chains of darkness hallelujah he has taken all the grip of the death hallelujah death cannot overcome you oh the fear of death will not overcome you don't worry are you worrying about that are you worried about the fear fear of death don't worry speak to the fear of death say that i have the resurrection jesus i have i have him with me he is say he said i am resurrection i am the life hallelujah hallelujah whatever may be the situation this evening speak to it and say to it oh i have the great god rama la shanta la bakara ba oh la mama ma shada ra ga du la bakaba ba 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 ka ba 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 oh ri ba 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 la shanta ro ka da la ba 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 ka ba Oh Jesus hallelujah 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 oh we give you glory 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 lord hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah if you tell to other people they can cry for you they can put little more spices fragrance 
they put a little more ointment for you but you will remain same imagine you will remain same but if you look at the lord and say i know you are resurrection i know you are life lord yes father i won't go anywhere i know you are resurrection hallelujah with that belief i just surrender to just speak to the lord say to him he is so lovely that is the reason he sent me and told me this word to say to you don't worry the stone will roll away because the person who said is he said i am the resurrection and life so surely the stone will roll away lord i surrender this time lord god i give all the glory to you lord god thank you for speaking with us father god lord who were listening to it lord god it's not with us lord god lord i have did my work let you do your work father god i don't know father god since you said i told them lord god lord do your work father god i surrender lord god you know everyone's detail in and out father god everyone's resurrection lord god situation father god I surrender everyone unto you Lord God. Yes, Thank you. I believe Lord God, you are rolling out their stones. Thank you Jesus. We give all the glory and honor and praise to Jesus alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the hand of praise to the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. Aru arumiyana powerful ana or message kata. quickly quickly <laughs> praise god khatana lover amen thank you lord thank you jesus we heard a beautiful message amen todanda nam thiruvendukku neraga pogalam first corinthians chapter 11 we we'll move to first corinthians chapter 11 ore oru vasanam verse 28 to mathram aasikalam endha manushanum thannai thane sodhi therindu indha appathai pusithu indha paathrathil paanam panna kadavan பிதாவே இந்த அருமையான வேலைக்காக உமக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் அன்றுவரே இந்த நேரத்திலும் இந்த ஐக்கிய பந்திலும் எங்களை பங்கெடுப்பதற்கென்று தெரிந்து கொண்டதற்காக ஸ்தோத்திரம் Lord we thank you that you have chosen us to take part in this holy communion. ஒரு விஷயம் உடைய பரிசுத்தரத்தால் எங்களை கழுவி பரிசுத்தப்படுத்துவீர். Lord please cleanse us with your holy blood Lord. எங்களுக்கு முன்பாக இருக்கிற இந்த ஐக்கிய பந்தியை ஆசீர்வதிக்கும்படி வேண்டுகிறோம். Lord I pray that you will bless the holy communion that is set in front of us. இன்னும் உம்மை அறிகிற அறிவில நாங்கள் வளரட்டும். Help us to grow more and more in you Lord. இந்த நேரத்துல உங்க சமூகத்தில் எங்களை முழுமையாக தாழ்த்துகிறோம். Lord we submit ourselves completely in your presence Lord. இயேசுவே நாமத்தில் ஜெபிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே.
Kati kudu kau bata anda ratri le. On the night that he was betrayed. Yesus Kristus apatte edite. Jesus took the bread. Adai pitte. He broke it. Ida wangi pusinggal. And said, take eat this. Ida umgal kai pitka pade kere enudia sarira mai rekrede ente sun. He said, this is my body which has been broken for you. Anda padie patra te edite. In the same manner he also took the cup. Ida umgal kai sinda pade kere pudie udan badi kein ratta mai rekrede ente sun. He said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. ஏசு கிறிஸ்துடைய சரீரமும் அவருடைய திரு ரத்தமும் இல்லாம நமக்கு பாவ மன்னிப்பு நிச்சயம் கிடையாது பரலோகம் கிடையாது there is no assurance of our salvation or going into eternal life without the body of jesus and the blood of jesus இந்த நாளிலும் இந்த கிறிஸ்துடைய சரீரம் அவருடைய திரு ரத்தமும் நமக்காய் ஒப்பு கொடுக்கப்பட்டதை விசுவாசித்து ஏற்றுக்கொண்டனுடைய வாக்கையில இந்த இரட்சிப்பும் இந்த பாவ மன்னிப்பு நிச்சயமும் உண்டு the ones who accept him as a savior and believe that uh, in his body and his blood there is salvation and eternal life the nerathil adai unarndavargalaga ullathinaalathilirundu andavarku oru visai nandri seluthu as the ones who realize this give thanks from your bottom of your heart and praise him and glorify him thank you thank you father தருமையான வேலைக்காக உமக்கு நன்றி Lord we thank you for this glorious time இவர் எங்களுக்காய் நிற்பட்ட பாடுகளுக்காய் நன்றி Lord we thank you for all the sufferings Lord இந்த ரட்சிப்புக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் Lord we thank you for the salvation Lord பாவம் மன்னிப்பு நிச்சயத்துக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் Lord we thank you for the assurance of our forgiveness of our sins சாட்சியாக இந்த பூமியிலங்களை வைத்திருக்கிறதுக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் Lord thank you for keeping us a holy witness for you Lord தொடர்ந்து உமக்காய் சாட்சியாய் நிக்கங்களை பலப்படுத்து Lord help us to remain standing as a witness for you Lord உங்க சுபாவங்கள் மாத்திரம் உங்களுடைய வாக்கியில வெளிப்படும் Lord let only your characters be revealed in our life lord yes we namathil chebikrom nalla pida in jesus mighty name we pray amen ellaru orumike stotra thoda appathe pusithu stotra thoda paanam let's all praise and give thanks to him in one accord and take the holy communion in chavam bani mudikalam let's pray and finish பிதாவே இந்த அருமையான வேலைக்காக உமக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் Father God we thank you for this glorious time நாளில் ஆராதனை ஆரம்பமிருந்து இப்ப வரைக்கும் ஆண்டவரே நீ எங்களோடு இடைப்பட்டதற்காக நன்றி அம்மா Lord we thank you that you've been with us from the beginning of the worship to the message Lord fellowshipக்காக உமக்கு நன்றி Lord I thank you for the good fellowship you've given us Lord அரே இந்த நேரத்துல உம்முடைய அன்புள்ள கரத்திலங்களை முழுமையாக ஒப்புக் கொடுக்கிறோம் Lord we submit to your loving hands as completely Lord வாரம் முழுவதும் உம்முடைய பிரசனங்களோடு இருந்தங்களை நடத்தட்டும் Lord let your presence fill us all through the week Lord விசேஷித்த பாதுகாப்பு எங்களுக்கு இருக்கட்டும் let your special protection be upon us lord இந்த நாள் இந்த இடத்துல வந்திருக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளையும் குடும்பங்களையும் ஆசீர்வதிப்பீராக lord please bless every individual and the family that's gathered here lord உங்க ஃபேவர் இனால உமது பிள்ளைகளை மூடும் படிக்க வேண்டும் lord please fill with your special favor upon each one of them lord பிள்ளைகளுக்கு என்று நீங்க இந்த நாள்ல கொடுத்த வார்த்தையின்படி lord according to the word that you have given to your children இந்த பிள்ளைகளுக்கு முன்பாக இருக்கிற பெரிய கல்கள் புரட்டி போடப்படட்டும் lord let all the stones that are before them be rolled away lord ஆசீர்வாதங்களை எது தடுத்து கொண்டிருந்தாலும் Lord whatever is hindering their blessings Lord அந்த கற்கள் ஆண்டவரே அந்த கல் புரட்டி போட்டதற்காக நன்றி Lord thanking for breaking the chains and moving the stone away அற்புதங்களை சுதந்தரிக்கட்டும் என்று வேண்டும் Let your children take the blessings from you Lord அற்புதங்களை சுதந்தரிக்கட்டும் என்று வேண்டும் Let them take the miracles from you Lord அற்புதங்களை பார்க்கட்டும் என்று வேண்டுகிறேன் Let them see the miracles Lord நீர் ஆசீர்வதிக்கிறதற்காக நன்றி அப்பா Lord I thank you that you're blessing them so Lord உங்க பிள்ளைகளுடைய வாழ்க்கையில நீங்க செய்ய போகிற பெரிய காரியங்களுக்காக நன்றி தகவல் Lord I bless I thank you for doing great things in your children's life Lord உயிர் தந்த வல்லமை உமது பிள்ளைகள் ஒவ்வொருடைய வாழ்க்கையிலும் விளங்கட்டும் என்று வேண்டுகிறேன் Lord let the power of resurrection resurrection be revealed in each of their lives Lord நாளையில புதிதாக வந்தவர்களை கூட நினைத்தல்லவேரா Lord I ask you you remember the new people who have gathered in the church Lord உங்களுடைய படிப்பை நீங்க bless பண்ணும்படிக்கு நான் வேண்டுகிறது Lord the bless this children in their studies Lord உயிர் தந்த விஷ்டத்தை நீங்க கொடுக்கும்படிக்கு வேண்டுகிறது Lord give them the wisdom that they need Lord இந்த இடத்துல இருக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு குழந்தைகளையும் கூட நினை தரலாம் Lord remember all the little children on this ஆசீர்வதிக்கும் படிக்க வேண்டுகிறேன் Lord bless them Lord இயேசுவின் நாமத்தில் ஜெபிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen Amen கர்த்தராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவுடைய கிருபையும் பிதாவாக இயேசு தேவனுடைய அன்பும் பரிசுத்தாவியானவருடைய அன்னியோனிய ஐக்கியமும் நம் அனைவரோடும் கூட என்றென்றைக்கும் இருப்பதாக Amen Amen
Thank you. God bless you. I think you have a dinner arranged for you. So, you can go to the fellowship. There is a dinner arranged for everyone. So, please, uh, make sure you enjoy the fellowship. There is a dinner arranged for everyone. So, please, make sure you enjoy the fellowship. The ground begins to shake, the storm was rolled away, his perfect love could not.